Selena Gomez seemingly reveals emotional abuse by Justin Bieber. Ooh, fans think Ariana Grande shaded Pete Davidson at the Grammys? And celebrities are paying tribute to the devastating loss of Kobe Bryant and other victims. Oh man, all that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. What is up, you guys? Welcome to today's episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I'm Susan Morad. Hey, guys, it's Sinead DeFries hanging out here with Susan today. And I wish I could say happy Monday, but I honestly feel like, well, personally, I'm really sad, but I feel yeah. like everybody's sad. It was like the weirdest, eeriest feeling driving to work today. Today and yesterday, yeah. when news broke about Kobe Bryant and that horrific helicopter accident mm -hmm. and all the victims on board, it's just, it, doesn't feel real. It, it, I kept thinking like this can't be real. Mm -hmm. My entire feed on social media were people paying tributes and I feel like everyone is grieving and mourning this devastating loss in their own way and mm -hmm. we hope you guys are okay because like I said everyone's going through something different but at the same time it's just it's so hard it's so hard yeah and it honestly is like a worldwide loss and it's just like I think that makes it more emotional when you realize that you don't have to be from LA or living in LA to experience like this feeling of loss mm -hmm. when you just like know genuinely that somebody's just such a good person and has like such an incredible legacy wow. and bring it to the fact that there were so many victims and so many families affected by this like horrific loss. It just makes the whole thing so sad. So, so sad. I think we just gotta kick it off. Let's just fill in some details. And um, a lot of people are paying tribute to Kobe and the other victims. And I think it's really, really great because you know that their families need all the support in the world all right the now. Support. Fans, friends, and celebrities have been mourning the loss and showing their support. The last 24 hours have been especially rough as everybody learned the news of Kobe's sudden passing. He was only 41 years old. Countless people from all over the world paid their respects to the Lakers star and to the others who also lost their lives, including many Hollywood celebrities. Kobe, his daughter Gigi, and seven other victims were on their way via helicopter to a basketball game at Mamba Sports Academy, Kobe's training facility for young athletes. Kobe was scheduled to coach a game that day, but unfortunately, they never made it. Just before 10 a.m. Sunday, the Los Angeles Fire Department responded to the deadly crash in Calabasas. LAPD has given very little updates, including the cause of the crash. However, we do know, and if you know you were in LA yesterday, you know this especially, there was heavy fog in the area. The weather was so bad, in fact, that the police department had grounded their own helicopters until conditions improved. And immediately the world began remembering the legendary player all over social media and people came in droves to the Staples Center in LA, the stadium where the Lakers play, where Kobe played for 20 years. Coincidentally, and also like very sadly, the Staples Center was gearing up for the Grammy Awards last night, obviously, and the entire night was pretty heavy just because they were all at Staples. Host Alicia Keys acknowledged the somber feelings in the room during her opening speech, and among the hundreds and thousands of people paying tribute to Kobe, those included Taylor Swift, who wrote, quote, my heart is in pieces hearing the news of this unimaginable tragedy. I can't fathom what the families are going through. Kobe meant so much to me and to us all. Justin Bieber also shared a throwback photo of himself with Kobe on Instagram, and he wrote, quote, it can't be. You always encouraged me, Mamba, gave me some of the best quotes that we smile about to this day. Love you, man. Sharing sweet moments about the legend quickly became a theme. Kanye West shared that Kobe was an inspiration in his life, saying, quote, Kobe, we love you, brother. We're praying for your family and appreciate the life you've lived and all the inspiration you gave. Obviously, there are thousands more tributes coming in. Um, and like we've already seen like Shaquille O'Neal like broke my heart. That <sighs> video of LeBron James, oh, which that I video of LeBron. First of all, I thought it was awful that that video even was on the Internet because I it was agree. just such an emotional time. And also, like you could tell that the camera was very far away from him. And it's it's not funny at all. I think it's it's almost laughable because of how gross it is. It's like such an invasion of privacy. And I think more than anything, like people just need to remember that like people died, like a lot of people died. And it's it's always so difficult. We want to grieve, we want to mourn, we want details because we're all hurting. But just remember there are like families, what they're going through is like, it's the worst. And they want to be there for us too, you know? Yeah, there's a real, and I felt that yesterday. There's like a, there's a line and everybody wants to know the details, right. but there are so many people's lives that are so affected in such a grave way that we would never understand. And thankfully mm -hmm. we wouldn't because we're not mm -hmm. in that position. But then there's reports that are coming out with details and pictures and things yeah. where sometimes like my heart was breaking and I was thinking, 
I hope like the family, I mean, of course they're, they're not going to be online, but they will eventually see some Absolutely. of these things, the families of all of those yeah. that were deeply impacted. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a hard time, but there's also like, there's also a, an element of respect that needs to be had when it comes to the fact, sharing a lot of the details. Yeah. We hope you guys are doing okay. Like I said earlier, everybody is grieving in mm -hmm. their own way. It's a really difficult time and it's a great time to band together and to tell those that you love that you love them, show support to all of those who need it and really just be kind and, and thoughtful and really just take a deep breath mm -hmm. and hope tomorrow is a better day. All right, so switching gears for our next story, of course, the Grammys were yesterday, we mentioned that earlier, and we need to talk about Ariana Grande, her incredible dress, she absolutely slayed the red carpet, but her performance as well, for me personally, was one of my favorite Ari performances yet. And a lot of fans are thinking that there was something she did during that performance that maybe was shading Pete Davidson. Ariana Grande last night not only slayed the red carpet, she wore an incredible multi-tiered gown and looked like an absolute angel goddess. But not only did she shut down the red carpet, she also blessed us with a medley of some of her biggest hits during the Grammys. The killer performance included Imagine, Seven Rings and Thank You Next, as well as two sets and an impressive costume change. Honestly, like I said before, it was one of my favorite performances I've ever seen from Ari. She was flawless in her vocals and also flawless in her dance choreography. The execution was literally perfect. But there was something else that you might have missed while being caught up in all of the amazingness happening. It was a moment at the end of the performance that left fans really shook. So at the end of the performance, Ari is basically chilling out on a bed and if you pay close attention, Ari removed a ring from her ring finger on her left hand and placed it into a box, then sighed and kind of shook her head no before having a little smile and chuckle. So in case you missed the clip, here it is. Okay, so we're not saying that this was certainly Pete Davidson's shade, but considering Pete was the ex she got engaged to and had given her ring, we kind of can't say it certainly wasn't. And when it comes to fans, they are divided as to whether the move was intended to throw shade at her ex fiance or actually mark the end of her thank you next era. But the majority of fans did think that this was aimed at Pete, with Twitter fans chiming in with tweets like, did Ariana Grande just diss Pete Davidson at the end of her performance with that ring box? And LMAO top, Ariana Grande threw shade at Pete like, bit next. And other fans though were pointing out that they thought it was actually more about Ari closing the book on the thank you next chapter, saying things like, all the tabloids are saying it's shade at Pete, but nah, this was for us. For this era, it was wonderful. Whatever Ariana's ring removal was supposed to symbolize, she probably is ready to leave several things in the past and we cannot wait for her next chapter. <sighs> this performance for me, I thought was one of the best performances I've seen from Ari. Like her dancing was so on point. Mm -hmm. The choreography, but not only was she dancing her heart out and literally nailed every move in sync with all the dancers, her vocals were just angelic as usual. Yeah. And I just loved the instrumental that was happening. I loved the outfit change, like literally while we were watching on stage and then going into the other set. Like for me, I was just like, oh, She yes. has like a moment too, like a couple years ago where she was getting a little bit of backlash for like not coming out with like bangers, remember? And it was like a very small blip in time. But I swear to God, this girl has been on like the best streak of life in the last like year. Everything she's put out lately has been gold. Absolutely. And she's always to me just had like ever since she opened her mouth, I was like, oh, this is the best singer in the entire world. Yeah. But like and every song gets better and better just, and better. She's getting better and she's just like really coming into her own creatively, I think. And I think this is the best Ari we've ever seen. I love it. I can't help but just want more of it. But I do think like just to play devil's advocate, I'm not sure if she was totally throwing shade at Pete Davidson, more so at like the situation, you know? Mm. Like almost like, oh, remember that one time I thought it'd be a great idea to get engaged? <laughs> yeah. like, that is kind of like the way I read it. Like she's like, no, and like takes it off. You yeah, know? I think that too. We all know how Ari feels about, you know, she doesn't want anyone throwing, like sending any hate to Pete. She's said that several times yeah. in the past and she wouldn't want to put him in that position. So I don't think she was shading Pete Pete and want, wanting to throw shade in that way, but it was more about the situation. Also because it is the end of the era, which is like right, such a, like right. a bittersweet moment. Um, 
and I just can't wait to see what Ari has next in store. All right, well, let's keep the Grammy news coming, you guys, because we got to give you a rundown of all the night's biggest winners. Obviously, the Grammys was emotional. We laughed. We cried. We danced. We cheered. We cried some more. <sighs> You know, we pretty much did it all. Yeah, we did it all. While the nearly four-hour telecast was packed with performances from Demi Lovato to BTS to Camila Cabello, we were all ready to know who was going to win the evening's biggest awards. And we got to start off by talking about Billie Eilish because that girl just slayed the entire night. She won five out of six Grammys that she was nominated for. And yes, she's only 18 years old. But even Billie was surprised she won as many as she did because she actually didn't think she deserved her award for Album of the Year. She gave Ariana Grande a shout out during her acceptance speech. Can I just say that I think Ariana deserves this? <laughs> but I love you so much. Um, I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm really not. I love you. Thank you for this. Now that's pretty sweet, but obviously we're like, Billie, calm down. You're amazing. Just accept the award. <laughs> <laughs> Billie won for Song of the Year, Best New Artist, Album of the Year, Record of the Year, and Best Pop Vocal Album. Phineas also took home a number of Grammys too, which is just so sweet. Now Lizzo came into the show Sunday night with the most nominations and she also walked away a winner. She won the first televised award of the night, accepting the award for Best Pop Solo Performance for Truth Hurts. And she was overflowing with excitement. It was like chills, like for sure. She gave the most amazing emotional acceptance speech. But the best thing about last night was that it was truly a sign of how music can bring people together in so many different ways. Lizzo also won for her song, Jerome, in the Best Traditional R&B Performance category, and for her album, Cause I Love You, in the Best Urban Contemporary Album category. And let's move on to another big award, Best Pop Duo Slash Group Performance, which went to none other than Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus for their iconic song, Old Town Road, which will always be my favorite song, Forever and Ever, mm -hmm. Amen. This was truly one of those songs of the decade, and they now have the Grammy to prove it. But just like there are wins, there were also some huge, and I'm talking huge, snubs. Ariana Grande was nominated for five Grammys and she left last night without any. Fans were pretty outraged about this online and Taylor Swift, who didn't attend last night's events actually, also didn't win any Grammys. She was nominated in three categories but didn't have any wins this year. And there were so many other moments and winners, we can't cover them all, but we do want to say congratulations to those who did win and also totally understand why some people are wondering how you can have so many nominations and not win just like one or two. Oh, I know. It's tough though because it was a really it was a really big year for music. It was big and I was looking at a lot of every time they would have everybody up on the board and all the nominees, I was like, I could see every single one of them winning. You know, we saw like Little Nas X and Billie Eilish and Lizzo for for Best New Artist right. and then same with like Album of the Year and Ariana Grande and it was just like, wow, how do they choose? Right, but like, you know, it's all in the title of each award, like best. At the end of the day, like everybody's best is a little bit different. That's the beautiful thing about why we have like so many artists to choose from and relate to. So I just think that most of these award shows, like they're super exciting. It's a, it's a way for us to honor everybody that we love. Yes. You can't get too mad because it's somebody else's opinion. You know, as long as you love that person and you support them, then like that's really all that matters. It was just a night to really truly like celebrate music in its entirety. Yeah. So Selena Gomez is doing press rounds at the moment for her album Rare, which we are still loving, which of course we didn't see her at the Grammys last mm -hmm. night. Would have loved to see her there, but we understand. You know, Selena is really, really she's busy really at the moment. Busy, yeah. yeah. So during her press rounds, of course, she's opening up a lot more about the album and the lyrics. And she recently revealed that she suffered emotional abuse. In a new interview with NPR's The Weekend Edition Sunday, Selena Gomez gets pretty candid and opens up about difficult times she has struggled with. Firstly, she says that since 2015, she had, quote, a few of the worst moments of my life due to medical and emotional reasons. But then things get really interesting when she talks about her single Lose You To Love Me, which we all know is about Justin Bieber. Selena said, quote, I felt I didn't get a respectful closure and I had accepted that, but I know I needed some way to say a few things that I wish I had said. It was very difficult and I'm happy it's over. And I felt like this was a great way to just say, you know, it's done and I understand that and I respect that. And now here I am stepping into a whole other chapter. The interviewer then name checks Justin and says, Justin Bieber is who I assume you're talking about. To which Selena goes, ah, you had to get the name in with a little laugh. I get it. The interviewer then asks Selena, quote, do you look back on that time and when you think about the parts of your life that were painful, that you've kind of moved on from, is that one of the harder parts? Selena responded by saying, no, because she's found strength in it. Selena then continued by saying, quote, it's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality and then revealed this. 
And I'm not being disrespectful. I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. And you mean I mean emotional abuse? Yes. And I think that it's something that I... I had to find a way to understand it as an adult. So while Selena stated that she was a victim of abuse, she did clarify that it was emotional abuse. Selena then said, quote, as much as I definitely don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about this, I'm really proud that I can say I feel the strongest I've ever felt and I found a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible. NPR reports that they've reached out to Justin Bieber's reps for comment. This makes me like hurt every time I hear Selena I talk know. about her hard times and her past and everything that she's gone through in the last four years, like it always makes me hurt for her, but I also feel better knowing that if she's in such a like good place right mm -hmm. now and she always does say, you know, but I've moved on, I'm in a better place and I am, you know, living my life right now and, and she has come such a long way. Yeah, I mean, girl has been through it. All right, Sinead, it is time for the final rundown. One and a half minutes on the clock. All right. <laughs> I, I, I messed it up the last time, you know, so that you were like, perfect. you're supposed to do this. <laughs> so then I didn't say it this time because I was focusing so hard on getting well, this part Well, you did down. a great job. Okay, <laughs> kicking it off with our first story. So okay. Now. All right. Um, Noah Cyrus and Machine Gun Kelly are apparently dating. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Maybe. They could be best friends, but they are sparking romance rumors because they were in attendance at the Sony Music Entertainment 2020 post-Grammy reception last night. And an eyewitness told E! News that, quote, they are holding hands and posing for photos together. They walked around party hand in hand. The source also added, quote, they held hands as they arrived back inside the party from taking a break outside together and continued to be next to each other the entire time. It seemed like they were dating. Mm, only time will tell. Um, they could be best friends, but like, who knows, right? Who knows, who knows? They are hot, they, they are hot. They are hot. Now moving on to our next story, Justin Bieber has said that Ariana Grande apparently has inspired his comeback. Justin Bieber's new docuseries, Justin Bieber's Seasons, premiered on YouTube today. Now there's a lot in it, you guys, so be sure to check it out. But one of the interesting things revealed was when Alison Kay, a member of Justin's management team said, being ready to perform again all started with his surprise Coachella performance in April last year when he joined Ari on stage. She said, as he walked off stage after the Ariana performance, he was ready to get back out there. The second he asked to actually put in the time, I was like, okay, we're ready. And some more Grammys news. Selena shared this post to her story saying, I wish there were words to describe how beautiful, inspirational, and deserved this moment was. Demi, I'm so happy for you. Thank you for your courage and bravery. Oh, and Demi's performance, man, that was emotional. Like, it really brought me to tears. She was crying. Yeah. It was so hard to watch, but yeah. also, like, just really, I don't know, just gave me a really good feeling inside to see her there on that stage after mm -hmm, everything that she's mm -hmm. been through. Like, the Grammys was such an emotional one last night. I for know. so many reasons. All right, you guys, that is it for today's episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Now, I know we didn't do the Monday DHR song at the top of the show. Today was just... A really emotional one and we're going to make it up to you next Monday so sorry if you don't if you don't like the Monday DHR then that's great that's but if great. you're one of those people that like it sorry we didn't <laughs> this is a good day for you to watch yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but before you go anywhere um, I've got some questions about the Grammys last night who was your favorite performances or who was your favorite performer did one of your favorites take home an award? Were you upset by somebody missing out? Mm -hmm. Let me know everything you thought about the Grammys in the comment section below. Yes, and speaking of the Grammys, I want to know what you guys thought of that Ariana Grande performance. Mm. Do you think that there was some hidden shade in there? Um, but yeah, no, and then of course, please just get some love going in the comment section. Be there for each other. Um, we're all grieving and mourning, so I just think that sharing some love and like just like maybe some positive message yeah, your for somebody. favorite memories of or like maybe if you've ever been to a Lakers game or something like that just you know down in the comments let's just, yeah. let's just spread some love today you guys I agree and I think for everybody else watching and everybody else grieving it's just a nice gesture yeah. for everyone to, to come together through the comments section so we'll be looking forward to reading all your messages of love and we'll see you guys tomorrow but hold on you guys before you go anywhere catch up on this weekend's episode episode of celebrity lowdown if you haven't already it's right here and then also subscribe by hitting that button right there like that. That's good. <laughs>